Facebook. You already know it's the most prominent social media site on the planet. You probably also know that in addition to having a personal profile for yourself as a person, you can also create a fan page for your band, your music company, or yourself as an artist, or practically anything else for that matter. Having a Facebook fan page can be a great promotional tool, but like any tool, it can be used or abused. And in this video, I will focus on some of the most common mistakes as I walk you through the five biggest Facebook fan page screw-ups. Hi, I'm Bob Baker, and these tips were adapted from an article that ran in my Guerrilla Music Marketing Confidential newsletter. Uh, to learn more about that, you can go to thebuzzfactor.com, and you can click on the Music Marketing Mentorship Program uh, icon or the link there to find out more about it. So, are you ready for all those Facebook screw-ups? Good, because here we go. Screw-up number one, not claiming a customized URL. When you first create a new fan page on Facebook, it gives you a funky web page that reads something like this, facebook.com slash gobbledygook blah blah blah. It's not very user friendly or easy to remember, but the good news is you can create a customized address for your fan page, such as facebook.com slash your band name or your name, your company name, whatever the case is. Much easier, right? So how do you do that? Well, here's how. Now, when you're logged in to your Facebook account, go to facebook.com slash username and follow the instructions to create a custom URL. For example, mine is facebook.com slash Bob Baker fan page. I know it's incredibly creative, but it does work. Screw up number two, engaging only in a one-way dialogue. Many artists make the mistake of using their fan page as a place to make announcements, and that's it. So you end up seeing a lot of updates along the lines of, hey, I'm playing here Saturday night, my new album available now on iTunes, or we just got reviewed in this magazine. Now that's cool stuff that's worth sharing, but it's not very engaging. So think in terms of a two-way conversation. And one simple way to do that is to ask your fans for feedback. That's right, on a regular basis, ask questions on your fan page. Uh, what should we play on our next show? Uh, what's your favorite artist of this year? How should we celebrate the singer's birthday next week? Which of these three songs do you like best? Also, it's important to show your personality. You share your sense of humor and your quick wit assuming, of course, that you possess those qualities, but <laughs> make your updates lively and engaging and not just dry announcements. So ask, 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 show your personality, and make it a two-way dialogue. Screw up number three, not responding to comments. Okay, so you took my advice, and you are now posing questions and asking for feedback. And people are responding on your fan page. Great, now what? you must acknowledge them. When people take the time to leave a meaningful comment on your fan page, you will create a lot of goodwill by commenting back. At the very least, click that little like button link thing uh, related to the comment, and that will make it appear in that person's list of notifications. So find some way to acknowledge that you saw and appreciate the comment. Facebook screw up number four always promoting and selling. Nothing turns off a fan more than a constant barrage of sales messages, so use your fan page status updates to communicate with your fans, not just promote to them. Share interesting stories and links, new music and other cool things that you've done or discovered that they might be interested in. So here's a good motto to keep in mind. Share and serve, don't always sell. Memorize that. Hey, okay, screw up number five, never selling. On the opposite end of the spectrum from always selling is never selling. And this is a major screw up too. Some creative types are so worried about being perceived as greedy or pushy that they never make people aware that they have stuff for sale. They never give fans the opportunity to support them financially. Don't screw up in this area too. 
So, while you're delivering value, asking questions, engaging with your fans, and interacting with them, don't forget to make them aware of the cool things that you have for sale. I mean, don't go overboard with sales pitches, but don't shy away from them entirely. Strike a balance. Give your fans an opportunity to help and support you. There you have it, the five biggest Facebook fan page screw-ups. Now, if you want more tips like this, uh, please visit thebuzzfactor.com. And while you're there, you can get a free copy of my Music Marketing Success Secrets Report. Yeah, I know, say that five times fast. It is called Music Marketing Success Secrets. Absolutely free. It's my gift to you. And all you have to do is go to thebuzzfactor.com right now to grab it. So thanks a lot for watching this. I wish you the best. This is Bob Baker saying so long for now.